my channel and today's video is another fall clean and decorate with me part two today today's video I will be decorating my three tier tray so I can't wait to do that because it's my first time actually decorating my tier tray for fall because last year I didn't have my tier tray around this time so I'm excited to do that but another thing when I think of fall I think of baking so in this video I will also be baking a fall treat for you guys and I'm gonna make sure to leave that link down in the description box just in case you guys want to try it out so let me show you the items that I'm going to be using in this video Okay, y'all, so this is what I have to work with right now. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm gonna be using everything in my tier tray. This is just stuff for me to work with and add on here or remove on here because when I decorate, I constantly keep moving stuff around till I feel like it looks right. So, <clears throat> I always make sure, what, for my taste anyway, that I have some greenery to add as a filler for the tier tray. And you can get these greeneries at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. And I don't have a price tag here, but this one is like $9.99 and the smaller ones are like $6.99. So that's where you can find them. I have some stands to add the decor with, so I'm already done on here. I got these stands from Hobby Lobby and these stands right here, I actually made it myself. So that should help prop up the decor so it doesn't sit deep in here. And I got this tier tray, well my husband got it for me as a gift from Home Goods, and it was on clearance, it was $29.99 and it was on clearance for $22 so that's where he got to got it from so it's not something that I can link down below a lot of this decor also comes from Hobby Lobby like this little house and little pumpkins so I have different little signs to work with doesn't mean I'm gonna put everything in there so let's see how this goes of course I got some gnomes and these little um, mini rolling pins they're actually from my Etsy shop and I have a ton of different designs on there if you guys Want to go go ahead and check it out the link will be in my bio so this my bio so this comes from my etsy shop and this cutting board also comes from my etsy shop and i also have different designs so i will be using this of course in my video i got a little truck but i also got this one as well so i don't know which one i'm going to use yet okay so i got more greenery stuff like this came from target dollars about three years ago so a lot of my decor came from a few years ago and these um, straw bales actually came from the Dollar Tree and I got four of those to also help propping up the decor. These flowers come from Dollar Tree, some Ray Dunn mugs, the only two fall ones that I have, but I will be using it in my tear tray. These spoons actually came from Hobby Lobby and I can't wait to add that on here. So let's get started. Before I decorate, one of the things that I always do, I wipe everything down first because once I add my decor, I really don't dust till it's time for me to decorate again and this area gets quite dusty. And that container is where I actually keep all of my essential oils. I like to have it nice and organized, but that's where I normally keep it. So I had to make sure I also dust that area because the con on top of the container was really dusty as well. I've had this tiered tray I will have to say since April and I think no actually before April I think because I was going to do my Easter yeah it was before April because I was going to do my Easter tier tray decor on this tray but because of the size of it I kind of got intimidated with the size of the tray and instead I used my smaller one 
but I think for next year, I will also use this big tray because once you get started, it's really not that hard. And when it comes to tear tray, I feel like everything is a learning process because it's not something that I just automatically know where everything goes. It's pretty much trial and error. I have to constantly keep putting things there and then taking it off and then see what works well together. Some two items may not work very well together like two big items i like to switch it up with a little small one and a big one i hope i'm making sense i also like to add some greenery to the tear tray it helps fill up the back especially because i have it on this cart and this cart is right up against the wall so i really don't have to decorate the back but you also don't want to see that empty space back there biggest advice is just play around with it move things around don't be afraid to move things around and see what looks good to you i always second guess myself once i put things there i don't know if it looks good but then sometimes it grows on me i'm like dang girl you did your thing you did a great job but a lot of the times i go on pinterest to get ideas on how to put things on the tear tray if that makes sense there's a bunch of ideas on pinterest and then i grab little ideas from each pin and just make my own version of it wanted to mention that if you don't have any ray dunn mugs to decorate your tear tray that's completely fine you don't need ray dunn mugs to decorate your tear tray you can use any mugs or no mugs at all that's completely fine i see a tear tray i don't know if it's just me i see a tear tray like a big grown-up toy you know how you decorate a dollhouse and you play with the doll toys well that's how i see it as a grown-up this is something i get to play with and adjust and right here i was trying to put the uh the beads on the tear tray it was just not working out it would not stay still and then for to me it was just not looking good so i have another area where i will be using these beads and you won't see it in this video but you will definitely see it in the next one you guys are enjoying this video so far don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already because it's absolutely free I was 
actually going back and forth with these two rolly pins, the Harvest and the Gather. I decided to stick with the Harvest. I don't know why, I just love that burgundy color in the middle is actually one of my favorites. Now I will be using the Dollar Tree leaves. You guys, if you saw my last fall clean and decorate video, you actually saw me put this in a vase looking thing in the living room. I actually took it out of there and put something else in there. And I actually showed it in my vlog over on my vlogging channel, Simply Yesenia. So I changed that flower arrangement already, but I'm going to be using it, the flower arrangement here in my tear tray but what I ended up doing was I actually had to cut the stems off to be able to put it in the tear tray. It helps with filling up the empty spaces. So you guys, I think I am done with my tear tray. I might sw switch some things up, but maybe not right now. I have to just let it sit there and then I'm, I guess, probably some new ideas and I'll be switching stuff around. But I think I did a pretty good job and it didn't come out too bad. I took some of the leaves off because it was a little bit too many of the leaves and I just moved the rolling pin like this instead. I don't know, we'll see, but I of course ha I had to add some greenery in the back but I think it came out pretty good I was intimidated by the size of the tear tray because it's pretty big and I'm used to decorating the other one but I think it came out pretty well so let me finish up here this sign actually came from the Dollar Tree and I bought this sign over three years ago but I am going to replace it because I noticed that the paper on the side started to come off. It is three years old and it was only a dollar. So I will, I think Dollar Tree has a newer version so I will go ahead to Dollar Tree and change that out. So a lot of things you might see differently but soon next month I will be filming a fall home tour so you guys will get to see the end result.
Next time you guys go to Dollar Tree, I definitely recommend to, for you guys to find those straw bales that they come in handy when it comes to propping up decor, like pumpkins and stuff like that. So I hope you guys get to actually find that. y'all so this is what i have left so i used a pretty good amount of my stuff let me move my phone um a lot of this decor now i will use it to decorate the rest of the kitchen but that won't be in today's video that will be in my next video so i can't wait for you all to watch that but i'm going to clean up now this mess for the next video and then i'm going to bake for you guys i do have to say though that it's growing on me i'm actually loving it right now I think I did a pretty good job. It came out so, so cute. And I'm super extra. I always have to put twinkle lights or something like that on there. And you can easily find those on Amazon, like a pack of 10 or something for like $10, $13 or something like that. But oh my God. I now it's it. time to clean up. As y'all can see, there was a mess on the floor and there was a mess on the table. So I had to make sure to go ahead and wipe that down because my kids were getting ready to have lunch. I had to stop a million times because I am a mom and I have to feed my children. But my husband came in here and grabbed the container for me but i told him not to put it too far away so because i was going to decorate the kitchen in like a day or two anyway and i can't wait to do the rest of the kitchen and i feel like once that is done i will be completely done because whenever i decorate for fall i mainly do the living room uh the half bathroom and the kitchen and then last year i started to do my master bedroom so those are the main areas because they're all downstairs Before I get started with baking, I'm just going to go ahead and put these dishes in the dishwasher. These are the breakfast dishes and this, it seems like I'm constantly washing dishes, you guys. But before I bake or cook, I always have to make sure that my kitchen is nice and clean because I like to start off on a clean slate. Okay, y'all in today's video I will be making some maple syrup sweet potato bread and I can't wait to try this I've never made this recipe that was the oven going off I've never made this recipe before I went ahead and already boiled the sweet potato I used the actual sweet potato just boiled it up and then pureed it and I got a quarter cup of milk some salt vanilla extract two oh this is melt, a quarter cup of melted butter two eggs a half a cup of maple syrup two cups of flour, half a cup of brown sugar, some baking soda, 
and some baking powder i won't take you throughout this recipe through the whole way because i will be linking the recipe down in my description box just in case you guys want to try it i prefer making it with sweet potato it's a sweet potato recipe anyway but i really don't like pumpkin like the flavor of it i just don't like it i just like to decorate with it i just don't like the flavor so i i'm excited to try this recipe one of the things i love doing is actually baking you guys i love to bake i just don't bake as much in the summertime but when it comes to fall and winter i am constantly baking so you guys will definitely see some baking included probably in my cleaning videos and I, if you guys would like to see more of that just comment down below and let me know but i do actually enjoy to bake i find it very relaxing i find me concentrating on the recipe very relaxing and it helps with my anxiety tell you guys this recipe i will definitely be making again because it didn't even last a day heck it didn't even last an hour my kids and my husband ate it all up so next time i will make sure to do double the recipe because it does not last long in my house i put it in the oven it says between 50 to 60 minutes it took an hour for me for the bread to finish baking but you guys it was so good and then the house smelled absolutely amazing it smelled like maple syrup cinnamon and sweet potato now that's a good smell so the house smells so good and the thing is my kids were just waiting for the oven to go off so they could have some It's time for me to do the dishes again seems like i'm constantly washing dishes thank god for dishwashers but i do wash my hand wash my pots and pans knives and, th and things like that by hand preferably Let me know down in the comments have you guys started to decorate for fall yet i would love to know and what kind of decor do you guys normally incorporate in your homes if you do decorate for fall as a youtuber most of us mainly decorate a little bit earlier so you guys get inspired and if you want to get some more ideas then you guys have the chance to do so for your home decor
and the bread is finally finished oh my god isn't she a beauty i had to pretty much cut the bread right away because my kids were like hounds and they were kind of surrounding me when the bread came out of the oven and i would recommend for you guys to let it cool down first before you cut into the bread because as you can see you will see it start to crumble a little bit but my kids act like i don't feed them so they wanted the bread like asap so i cut it and it started to crumble a little bit so next time just not next time that was me but when you guys cut into your bread just make sure that it's cooled off first hope you all enjoy part two of my fall clean and decorate with me of my tear tray don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos guys bye